There's so much research out there demonstrating how yoga can be helpful for mental health and well-being, and I want to share some of that research with you. By the end of this video, you'll have an understanding of why it's important to create a mind-body connection, some of the psychology and the neuroscience behind this practice. My name is Kathy. I have a PhD in psychology and 13 years of mental health research experience. I've been practicing yoga since 2008 and teaching since 2014. A central to a mind-body practice like yoga is the somatic experience, is feeling what's happening in your body. So especially with the postural practice of yoga, there's a lot of body sensations. So you're using sensations to, to guide how you move and the sensation of stretching can, can really build that sort of awareness of what's happening in your body. And that, that awareness of what's happening in your body is called interoception. And some people are really good at interoceptive awareness and some people aren't so good at feeling what's happening in their body. And before I get into the neuroscience behind that, I want to talk a little bit about the psychology and why it's important to have a strong mind-body connection for mental health and mental well-being. Now there's two psychological constructs that I want to talk about. The first is present moment awareness and the second is agency. Now being present in the moment is about being aware of what's happening for you in this moment. So sometimes it's called being mindful or being in the now. Now your body is always in the present moment, but your mind can travel into the future, into the past, or be in the present. As you start to develop a stronger mind-body connection, you can use the sensations that you feel in your body to anchor your attention in the present moment, in the now. The next psychological construct I want to talk about is agency. And agency is understanding that you can create change in your environment. So be it in your external environment or your internal environment, so what you feel in your body. When you develop a stronger mind-body connection, you become more aware that the way you behave can change your body sensations. So for example, how well you sleep, when you go to sleep, what you eat, what you think. These, for the most part, are under our control and can change sensations for us, can change how we feel. And knowing this is so important for self-regulation. So let's talk a little bit about the neuroscience. Practicing being aware of what's happening in your body is associated with changes in brain areas associated with interoception. And that includes the insular cortex, and that's a major player in this process the prefrontal cortex, and the somatosensory cortex. And the general gist of it is that the more that you practice feeling, the more that you, you change these brain areas. So essentially you start to, to rewrite cortical maps. So more of your brain activity is devoted towards feeling into your body. And some people are really practiced at interoception, and some people are more practiced at not feeling what's going on in their body. How many of us have been guilty of ignoring body sensations in order to get something done? So say you're working on a task and you start to get really hungry and you think, oh, I, I'm hungry, but I really want to get this done. So you pull your attention away from that body sensation. Or how many of us have been in a situation where you feel uncomfortable, but yet you stay in that situation? And that's okay every now and again. I mean, sometimes it's necessary to get something done, but the more you practice it, the better you become at it. So you can become quite practiced at not noticing what's going on in your body. So let's talk a little bit more about the neurocognitive side of things. The more that you are aware of body sensations, the more that you pull your attention away from automatic behavioral responses. We only have so much attention, so where you place it is important. So if you're focusing on the interoceptive experience, then you're pulling cognitive resources away from your automatic responses. So you're using up some of your cognitive bandwidth by focusing on the present moment. At a neuroanatomical level, you're freeing up more resources for areas of your prefrontal cortex to control some of the subcortical areas, like the limbic system, specifically the amygdala, which is associated with emotional reactions. And with more attention placed on your body sensations, you get more information about what is actually happening for you in the present moment. And you can use that information to help guide your behavior. So let's take an example to sort of illustrate that. 
So say you're in a situation where you start to feel upset. Sometimes we might just be triggered and react in an automatic way based on past experiences. But if you're noticing body sensations, you might suddenly become aware that you're being triggered, that you're becoming upset. And because your attention is focused towards what's happening now, you can use that information. So perhaps you see that you're becoming upset and you decide, well, I think the best course of action here is just to walk away from the situation. Or perhaps you decide that maybe I can find something positive in this. Maybe I can learn from this experience. So what I've explained in this video is some of the psychological and neurocognitive consequences of developing a strong mind-body connection. I'm going to reference some of the papers that I found this information from below so you can check them out for yourself. And so in summary, what I've described is that as you become more embodied, as you notice more about what's happening for you, as you develop your interceptive awareness, you develop a greater sense of, of being in the present moment, of being aware of what's happening for you and a greater sense of agency. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to hear more about the psychology and neuroscience associated with a yoga practice, please feel free to subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified when I post again. If you have any comments, please feel free to leave those. And Thanks for watching uh, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.